Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment in our One Block Skyblock Survival Series. Today is a very interesting day. As you know, last week I was very, very booked with a lot of real life projects, but I wanted to get back to this series. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to set up an iron farm like I had hoped to. Um, this was the beginnings of it, and you can see that there's a walkway that leads back to our main area over there and we do have a villager over here on my right even though i just turned the long way around to the left um i had gotten this guy down here in the hopes of using him as a uh you know the aggravation mechanic to get iron golems to spawn however i thought i was playing on a higher difficulty this whole time and it turns out i've been playing on either easy or medium difficulty which means that uh, the zombies and stuff that spawn into this world don't come in with armor and they cannot hold items, which is a little bit problematic because that then means that they will not stick around. And that is, well, trouble. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to build an iron farm like I had hoped, but I do have an alternate solution which should do fairly well for us. And th that has to do with uh, this section over here. Now I've been training up a couple of villagers. You know about the Fletcher and the librarian I did just off camera. However, um, this is not going to be what I hoped it would be because I don't have a good source of iron anymore. So this guy is kind of a waste, but I don't know what else I would do with him. Uh, so the third villager that I have trained up is a toolsmith, and he's getting me a decent trade on some iron axes for now and efficiency. I'm more excited about the unbreaking aspect that's on this one. And then, of course, there is an efficiency to diamond shovel if I can, you know, get my wood reserves back up to make enough sticks to trade over to our Fletcher, and then I can buy... Uh, a diamond shovel and if we can get his final trade leveled up then we'll have free access to diamond pickaxes with some sort of enchantment on it and that will allow us to invest the few diamonds that we have over here into other more noteworthy uh, investments which will be good. So I've got a selection of these picks ready to go and I think it's time for us to just start uh, cutting through the nether blocks that are going to be right here for us. So let's just chop through them and see what we end up with. Blackstone is actually really good because that'll give me more stone to work with. Particularly it'll give me stone that I can actually utilize. Uh, mainly because all my cobblestone has been used up in other items, which is a bit unfortunate. Alright, so our first couple of people coming in here are some piglins. Unfortunately, I don't have any gold because I lost my gold in an accident. So we're just going to want to take these guys out. And I guess we'll start getting a bit more gold from that, but it's nothing that I'm really, you know, losing my mind over, if you will. Oh, we've got ancient debris coming in? Well, I didn't want to have to invest diamonds in to pick this early, but... If there's ancient debris, then we've got to make sure that we're holding on to that. So. There's three diamonds more than what I was hoping to spend, but we are going to reserve this for the good stuff only. And I guess obsidian as well. All right, we've got some quartz coming through here, which means that we can um, start making some observers to automate some of our farms, particularly the... Oh, dear. I didn't know that he got pushed out of there. Um, 
but particularly our sugarcane farm will do well from being automated like that. I'm really glad that Zoglin didn't have the mind to run around that little enclosure to get at me, because that would have been really bad. He, actually, he may not have had enough room to make a way through here. Got some blaze powder and some extra gold. That's good. That means if we get enough of those uh, ancient debris, which we only need two more, we can actually make another right ingot, and then there's actually a smithing table over there with our weaponsmith that we can use to upgrade a diamond pickaxe, though I probably won't do it on this one. I'll want to uh, reserve that for, you know, the the actual pickaxe that I end up buying off of him because it'll have some sort of enchantment on it. All right, well, I uh, didn't show the other one, but this is our fourth piece of ancient debris, which means that yes, we can make ourselves a netherite item after we smelt it up and everything, of course. Um, but I'm trying to decide if it would be better to invest some of our diamonds into like leggings or something and make that netherite, or if it is in our best interest to uh, just use it on a pickaxe and kind of use that where we will. Let's harvest up some of these things where they're now ripe for the picking. Did you attack my panda? Dude, that's not okay. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna push you back over this wall, okay? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, of course there's a gas as a part of this. Well, in by terms of monster parties. There have certainly been worse. These piglins... Or these zombified piglins... Aren't, uh, necessarily going to give me any trouble. Unless I actually physically attack into one of them. However, I can just kind of nudge them... Off. Oh, and now I get a lava bucket. Well, that means that I have the means to make a cobblestone generator, which I have yet to do. So let's go ahead and set that up super quick. I'm just going to need something non-flammable for that. Well, that, uh, that gives us our cobblestone generator. Except uh, the only other alteration that I think I would make to it would be if we remove this brick and replace it with some crying obsidian that has some resistance to any of the picks that we would use over here. I would use regular obsidian, but I kind of want to see how much obsidian I can get my hands on. So... If I need to make an emergency run to the nether, that is a possibility. There we are. And then if I need to farm up some cobblestone. I can just kind of sit here and do this. Which will be good because that will allow me to make some tools that I'm less invested in for harvesting up resources. I figured that I was eventually going to get another obsidian block and it's unfortunate that the diamond pickaxe that I had died with that horrific ghast that showed up out of nowhere. 
I looked all over the place over here and the pick was just nowhere to be seen. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to invest a couple of additional diamonds out of my stash into that because I just don't have the time to farm up wood right now to make sticks, to get emeralds, to buy something else off of this guy. And I know I've got another villager over here, but there's nothing that I can really train him into that I can trade over as an alternate source, like potatoes maybe, if I get him on the composter, but even then that's a pretty sheer trade rate. And yes, I realize that I could just cut through it with my iron picks, however, if there's any chance of me being able to get over to the nether to farm up some additional resources, I want to have that as an option. And I'm about halfway there with what I currently have obsidian-wise, so fingers crossed. I don't have to, but I'd like to keep my options open. Oh, benevolent gift, huh? I think that actually gives us enough for two pieces of ancient debris, whether that be armor or tools, and benevolent gifts have always come at the end of a cycle, so let's just store some of these things up. I technically have enough to do another cobblestone generator, and there we are, 80 seconds to the next upgrade. Of course, I'm going to cut a lot of that out. But, we're going to need to see whether or not it's worth our time making a transition over to the nether uh, in our next episode, between episodes, or whatever else. Because we do have the obsidian to do so, and we don't quite have enough obsidian for us to make a enchanting table. Not that we could do much with it. I mean, that would give our librarian some extra purpose due to the fact that he has bookshelves as a trade, because that's something that I valued for this series. I don't know. If you want to see me go to the nether in the next episode, put it in the comments down below, and we'll go over and have a look at it. I'm not, you know, dying to make it out that way, but if it's something you're interested in seeing how it works, or if you feel like there's something that could benefit where we are in this run, uh, then I am certainly open to the idea. But let's see as this winds down, and uh, I've got my creepers and zombies and all sorts of other stuff over there, what the next phase is. Idle. P breeze of peace blows across the land. Well, I uh, hopefully will be able to get some rest through that. But, regardless of what happens next, I do want to thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for daily variety content, and we will see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.